The sex industry loves Bitcoin and Chainlink stays strong. What's going on guys? Randy here with another daily crypto video. Today we're going to cover how the sex industry loves their Bitcoin and how they use it. And Chainlink is staying strong despite the big drop in Bitcoin prices and Ethereum prices over the past day. So let's get right into the content here. Uh, we'll start out with this article from Coindesk, why the sex industry Exec why this sex industry executive loves Bitcoin. So, all right. So, Chatterbait COO Shirley Lara, one of the most experienced platform executives in the adult content industry, has been keen on Bitcoin's potential since 2018. We accept 20 different cryptocurrencies for token purchases. The most popular ones are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, Lara said. Experts, including Lara, estimate there are thousands and thousands of cam girls working across platforms like OnlyFans and Chatterbait at any given time. That dwarfs the incumbent porn industry. Today, OnlyFans alone is estimated to have over 60,000 content creators, creator accounts, and millions of registered viewers, despite some criticism from sex workers on Twitter. So, of course, this is great news for, for Bitcoin and for all cryptocurrencies in general. Uh, such a massive market and I mean there's many advantages for sex workers to accept cryptocurrency as well as opposed to um, you know obviously, obviously they can't really fiat if you're talking online stuff like OnlyFans or Chatterbait but um, you know as opposed to someone paying in credit cards or debit cards. All right, so many of the leading sex industry corporations like OnlyFans, Chatterbait, and MindGeek appear to be owned by relatively secretive men who are far removed from the public performers. Lara, who joined Chatterbait in 2011, is one of the rare examples of a woman who worked her way up to the executive level without first creating a personal porn star brand. Her work is primarily technical and operational. I don't think crypto is a trend. I think it's definitely here to stay, Lara said, N noting the steady incline of Bitcoin usage among performers in Colombia and Romania. They'll use cryptocurrency as a way to jump on Chatterbait and get started while they figure out the banking stuff. Meanwhile, her global operations allow performers like Honey Lee in Europe to stack sats through Chatterbait. Lee said a little bit of her earnings, in addition to whatever she needs to pay the bills, is set aside as Bitcoin savings for Lara. Or for Lara, having the choice was crucial to the platform's crypto integrations. You asked if we hold on to Bitcoin, we don't, we cash out, but our broadcasters do. And I think that is so smart, Lara said. With porn production stalled or canceled in hubs like Miami, Las Vegas, and LA, the entire sex industry is shifting ge geographies. More Performers are relying on social media to broadcast from home. Bitcoin may now offer a different use case of platform performers versus high-end escorts, for example. The sex industry is hardly a, monol a monolith. So there's a full, a full podcast here. Uh, I'm going to leave the link down in the description, or you can finish reading this story. But, um, you know, the sex industry is massive. Cryptocurrencies... Uh, part of it right now, which is which is incredible. Um, another use case for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, cryptocurrencies. Good for the sex workers who accept it, and these companies like Chatterbait, who I, I guess the way it sounds is what they do is you as a as a viewer would buy tokens in Bitcoin, and then use the tokens to pay or to tip the the service providers all on live. So we'll check out now Chainlink, everybody's favorite. So Chainlink Marines buy the dip anticipating new all-time highs. Over $1 billion in Bitcoin futures were liquidated over the past few hours as the entire crypto market crashed. 
Still, link holders seem to have taken advantage of the low prices to add more tokens to their positions. So key takeaways, Chainlink took a 21% nosedive but managed to quickly recover. Data shows that investors continue to accumulate link despite the recent price action. If the buying pressure continues increasing, the decentralized Oracle's token may rise towards $11. Chainlink's uptrend has not been interrupted by the recent crypto market crash. Sideline link investors appear to have bought the dip, which may lead to a further advance. Link investors buy the dip. So the past 10 hours have been dramatic for link holders. The cryptocurrency rose to a high of $8.50 on August 1st, but a few hours after the daily close, the crypto market crashed, taking Chainlink down with it. The decentralized Oracle's token took a 21% nosedive within 30 minutes, dropping to a low of $6.60, which if you were able to scoop some up at that price, good for you. Probably not going to see a six uh, a, a sub you know up like a six dollar some uh, link in, in, in uh, quite some time from now. So if you can get it, go get it. Regardless of the erratic price action, investors appear to have taken advantage of it to accumulate more tokens. Uh, sentiment holder distribution chart shows that as prices drop, the buying pressure behind Chainlink surge substantially. The behavioral analytics firm registered a spike in the number of addresses holding between 1,000 and 10 million link. As sideline investors entered the market, prices were able to recover quickly. Consequently, link rebound, rebounded, soaring over 33% to make a higher high of $8.80. Uh, you know, chain link is just, uh, it's, it's crazy. I mean, the whole market could, could crash and Chainlink, you know, is is going to still do what Chainlink does, which is uh, have investors just jump in there and snatch it up. Everybody knows um, just how good and how important Chainlink is to the ecosystem. So when looking at Link's one-day chart, it seems like its price bounced off the x-axis of a descending triangle. This technical formation is part of a bull flag that has been developing within the time frame since early July. Although the new levels of volatility around Chainlink could have flushed out weak hands, it might be preparing to continue its uptrend. A further spike in demand for the altcoin may see it rise towards $11. So even right now, if the, if the price is $8.50 and you're bullish that it'll go to $11, you're going to make gains. So people that think they may have missed this Chainlink boat, you have not especially at the peak of the bull run. I mean, who knows what, what the, the price will get up to, but it's going to be way higher than $8 or $11, I can tell you that. This target is determined by measuring the height of the flagpole and adding it to the breakout point. All right, so I'm going to leave a link down in the description for this article from Crypto Briefing about Chainlink Marines buying the dip. Did you guys buy the dip? Were you able to get in there and scoop some up? Also, if you guys use Chatterbait and you're willing to uh, talk about it in the link or in the, in the description, in the comments down below, uh, let me know how. Let me know if you guys use cryptocurrencies to access OnlyFans or Chatterbait or one of these other sites. One more thing before I let you go, if you guys have not used the Brave browser yet, make sure you go ahead and download it. It's just like Google Chrome, except it it blocks trackers and ads, which allows you to have a quicker computer uh, and quicker loading times. As you can see by the time saved here for me, 3.8 hours over the past few months. In just this month alone, or the month of July, I have earned 15.825 basic attention tokens, which equals $3.89. This is just for my laptop. I earn about the same amount on my on my mobile phone as well. When BAT gets to its all-time high, this, you know, of close to a dollar, this 15.825 BAT will be worth almost $15 just for using the internet the way I normally would. And by clicking ads like this one to the left, BlockFi, when you click it, 
I'll get paid in basic attention token through the Brave browser. Link down in the description. I'll see you tomorrow.